Hello, I'm Adam, and today we'll do an uh, unboxing video with quick overview of uh, Yihua uh, Hot Air uh, Soldering Station. Uh, I'm making this video because I didn't found a similar video when I was looking for decent soldering station. And we'll see is it worth to pay uh, three times more than standard uh, hot air station. Okay, so let's start with the unboxing. Uh, and in this box at the beginning we see the instructions and uh, the exact model which I've got. It's Yihua 959D, second version. And uh, it's in Polish, what, whatever, who read the instructions. Okay, next we've got nice color. <laughs> okay. Uh, Let's focus on the other things. We've got two nozzles. We've got another two nozzles. Then yeah, this is uh, the thing where we put nozzles, uh, which is installed to the hot air station. And uh, there we've got the station itself, and we'll in a moment back to this. And there we've got a, and there we've got the handle. And let's see. Uh, I own a very cheap uh, hotter station for about thirty dollars. You can buy it, the VAP or other similar clones and uh, I think I can say something about the differences between them and uh, the first difference that I feel uh, this cable is uh, pretty nice in touch it's better in touch than uh, the whole handle is uh, I feel this plastic is isn't uh, very cheap as uh, in the others Okay, then uh, we have to mount a nozzle, and that's uh, in this size will be okay. And uh, there is another thing about mounting the nozzles. In uh, standard cheap ones, uh, it's uh, the nozzle is mounted by using a screw. Here we've got only this mechanism, and wow, <laughs> yeah, it's great. And uh, we've got so many pins there. And uh, okay, let's now focus. Oh, it's light. It's light. Uh, that's how it looks like from the other side. Those uh, screws are for this uh, metal thing to hold the nozzles. And yeah, that's how it looks. Nothing. Spectacular to be honest, but okay. Now the panel we've got the temperature. Okay, it's the potentiometer, not the whole turned quarter buttons feels okay. Okay, so uh, and we've got cable. Uh, okay, uh, let's connect uh, the plug. And we can see this plug when pressed, you have to tighten it up with a screw. That's nice. Okay, let's power it up. I hope you see anything. And uh, in this position, it's not working, of course. And uh, when I take the handle, it starts. And now we can, it's heating up, I don't know to which temperature, 300, okay, can we, oh, so the potentiometer is uh, regulating the airflow. Uh, first thing, uh, it's precise, it, the fan is... Uh, not the cheapest one, to be honest, and uh, I must say that it, yeah, it feels good, okay? 
and uh, the temp so if this is a fan so the temperature would be those buttons and we can fast and okay yeah uh, I can confirm that uh, there is a hot air okay and uh, generally that seems to it there is a button to uh, when I pressed it there is a cool air uh, that means it's uh, the heater is not powered now and it's cooling down I'm not sure if I will use it because uh, this behavior we can uh, get by just putting the handle on the a place and as we can see the temperature goes down and okay uh, generally there is nothing to talk about more what is visible but uh, let's talk about uh, why I bought this exact uh, hotter station as we saw there are many pins in this connector and uh, why because uh, and now listen <laughs> This uh, handle uh, has a temperature sensor inside, so we can select the temperature, to, for example, to 360 degrees, and uh, it reads the output uh, air uh, temperature, and uh, by using PID uh, control, it sets the desired temperature which is okay i mean that's how it should work yeah we set uh, a specified temperature and we've got this temperature on the output yeah that's normal no that's not normal because uh, cheap hot air stations doesn't have uh, such a temperature sensor inside there inside the heater uh, so uh, the cheaper uh, so the cheaper hot air stations work like uh, you put uh, 360, oh, that's some percents of uh, 100 uh, of power, so it will be working like 70% of power and no any monitoring of temperature. And uh, when I read that, it makes me scary. So uh, no any confirmation what temperature is inside of this thing. And uh, what's more, there are so many safety features uh, that uh, the cheapest uh, hotel stations doesn't have. So generally I wanted just to buy something a little bit uh, better than the just first basic uh, choose. And that's it why I choose to buy this one soldering station. Yeah, That's how it looks again. Generally that's it. Thanks for watching. Please leave a comment and hit the subscribe button. Bye.